Hi, my name is Bay, and I'm going to show you how to hook up with Easy LCDs. This video will cover how to connect a third generation Easy LCD to your computer, install the right drivers, and have you running commands on it. All you're going to need is an Easy LCD and a development cable. First, you're going to plug the Easy LCD to your computer with the development cable. If it has successfully connected to the computer, the autoplay window should appear showing the different files and directories, while on the Easy LCD, the splash screen should pop up. If either did not occur, go to your Start menu and type Device Manager in the search bar. Click on it and go to Ports where Earth LCD will appear. Now update Driver Software. After it has finished upgrading, you can go to computer to check to see whether it has connected or not. Now that it has been connected, we can begin running commands on it using the terminal. Drag the Termi icon to the desktop or make a copy elsewhere. Whatever you do, do not run the terminal program on the Easy LCD. Open the terminal program and make sure you are using the correct port the Easy LCD is connected to. The first command we're going to execute is clear screen wipe. So in the send bar, type CLS space wipe, then enter. This should change the screen on the Easy LCD to white. Pretty easy. However, if you want to run more complicated series of commands, you need to make a macro. By making a macro, you'll be able to save your commands as well as make quick adjustments to them. To do so, open a text editor such as WordPad, Notepad, or Microsoft Word. You're going to type the commands in one document or file. Each command needs to have its own line to execute properly. For this macro, I want to change the screen color from blue to red. Now make sure you're saving to the user's macro directory on the Easy LCD. When you save a macro, choose a name for it and include a file extension .ezm after it. To run or execute the macro, type in the send bar, play, and the file name you saved as, then press enter. 